Now let's add our first DC brush motor by clicking on the motors tree and then clicking add motor. We'll make this motor one. The first step of setting up this motor is to choose the amplifier that will drive the motor. If you're using a third party amplifier, you can fill out your amplifier's information from its data sheet or manual and save it into the IDE database. You just click on add new and then you can fill in all the appropriate information here. If you're using a Delta Tau amplifier, the amplifier's information should already be present in the database and you just need to locate the proper amplifier. Typically, the only important parameters to specify for most amplifiers that control DC brush motors are as follows. Torque control equals true. Analog command is true. Then you need to specify your maximum input voltage for the drive, continuous and instantaneous currents in units of amps, the time allowed at instantaneous current, the input voltage, also known as the bus voltage in volts DC, and then the amplifier fault polarity. This is usually low true for delta tau amplifiers. Now my particular amplifier for this example is the 3U Amp2. Let's select delta tau data systems as the manufacturer and then Amp2 as the amplifier. You can see that the specifications for this amplifier are already entered into the database, so there's nothing we need to change except for the bus voltage, which is 48 volts DC. Click Accept once you are done, and then click the Next Arrow. 